yeah, I need your help. You've got to watch this video because I actually bought a Hearthstone cosmetic, which I basically never do. But this new Cthulhu skin was just far too enticing. So obviously I had to take it into action and just squeeze as many Cthulhu's as possible into a deck, which actually Druid's really good for these days. You've basically got... Uh, the ability to copy various Cthulhu's, double their effects, of course, in wild format. So not only did I become Cthulhu, but we got to play a lot of crazy big Cthulhu's as well, which uh, made this a fun little experience. And now you get to enjoy it as well because I need to pay for this skin. Okay, dude, this is so crazy looking, dude. What the heck, dude? Look at this Cthulhu, bro. It takes up the whole screen. What on earth? This is wild. Got multiple eyeballs. Thank you. I can't even hear it right now, so I have no idea what he sounds like. I see your strength. Oh, what was our anomaly? Both here. Oh, upgraded hero powers. Oh wow, tank up versus uh, dire shape shift. Okay, maybe they're a pirate warrior, not like an armor warrior. That might have been disastrous. My awakening brings a new age. Why is he a druid? Yeah, dude, listen, I don't know either, man. Literally, because Matt London, the guy who made him liked playing Cthulhu Druid, I think is the perhaps unsatisfying answer you're gonna, the best and most unsatisfying answer you're gonna get. Uh, okay, like I said, guys, in Wild, somebody said, why don't you play Wild? It'd be fun. <laughs> okay, sure it will. Sure it will. I totally believe you that it'll be fun. Okay, how, I mean, I, I mean, I have like you know, spreading plague, but I'm gonna be dead before that, I think. He did float too there. That's kind of nice. Forbidden fruit's a lot of healing too sometimes. Seedsman. I mean, yeah. Let's try to ramp and stabilize. I don't know. <gasps> spreading plague. Oh, I called it. Okay, that makes me believe a little bit. Uh, that's still a lot of random little chip damage and stuff, but. Big taunts are nice. They eat a lot of uh, little hits. And then, you know, we can maybe stabilize like Disciple after some trades or something. This is the right kind of deck for this. I don't think they have a ton of like random over the top damage and stuff. I don't think we can get away with a guff. We need to, we need to stop this bleeding. I don't like the way it pulsates, gross. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'll be honest. I, I think this one's pretty cool. If we're gonna have like crazy obtrusive sort of uh, hero portraits I, th this one's definitely the sort i want i like this actually better than the other ones but i get it if it's too over the top for people because it just completely changes the look of the game and stuff i actually think this would be sick if these were like boss fights like imagine like single player stuff where like this was the boss fight and you had to like kill this cthulhu and that'd be so sick that'd be really cool i think all right so yeah we uh definitely get to stabilize a little bit here it's not perfect though, because I still don't really kill like this and this both very easily. Oh well, no, I do. I have hero power. Never mind. Scratch that. I take it back. Hero power is upgraded. Now, what does it look like when he attacks? Oh, that's actually sick! Oh, dude, that's sick. He just fires a laser when he attacks. He doesn't like pick himself up and attack. Oh my god, that makes me love it. Okay. I'm sold. <laughs> I actually am really glad I bought it. I was like, oh, $25. Oh, no, man. I don't want to do it. And now I'm like over the moon. That was sick. Do I give up this hero power? It seems so good in this matchup. Like, I, I really want Guff, too. Don't get me wrong. But this hero power just seems really nice. This can fully heal me, so maybe I don't need it. Maybe we just Guff. Guff's pretty cool. I do really need to deal with these minions on board too right now though and i'm not good at that at all unless i go double branching paths to trade which honestly isn't that crazy i don't think maybe we wait on the guff a turn other oh, spreading plague's pretty cool these are just like too much value still have a taunt this is pretty nice ice stock's really good we can go Cthu or uh guff uh ice stock what i'm gonna see what it looks like when i transform into guff like how is Cthulhu going to like dissipate? You know what I mean? Is there an animation? Is it just kind of just dissolve out? I'm really curious what it looks like. Oh, dude, Gonk with his portrait. That does actually sound pretty cool. Let's see what happens here. I'm very curious. Oh yeah, he just kind of disappeared. Okay. No, I, I would say not perhaps the most satisfying interaction there. 
Um, do we just grab Cthune? Well, I might grab Freya too, I guess. Uh, we've not gotten any of our other Cthune cards, sadly. Ice stock's like big. He's not that. He's not that big yet, man. I don't know. Cthune. Oh yeah, you're right. The hole is still there. It's kind of wild. Eleven, eleven. Uh, this does have taunt, right? So that feels good. I mean, board clear and taunt, I think, makes this feel much, much better than otherwise. A and R, we can go for full heal as needed. Spreading plague looks like it's actually gonna be really good in this board again. Juggernaut does theoretically grind me out over time, but thankfully we have, you know, ways to end the actual game. Oh, does this become a 3-4 or I don't know how that works. Do you guys know? I actually have no idea how that works. Oh yeah, it upgrades, okay. Well, this one does anyway. Wait, it's an eight, nine. What? So it's like a three, four that's gained five, five. Okay, I understand. How does Floop Cthune work? I just don't know. I don't know how it works. Big heals though, that's good. We like big heals. Good stabilization here. Cthune can help tidy some of this up, hopefully. Opponent has a lot of life is my only thing. Actually kind of gross. have too many things happening here opponents stop how are you doing all this i'm still gonna lose stop please stop capture cold tooth hits freya she can give me extra cthunes in hand but i actually kind of need uh i feel like i need to draw right now i just don't have a lot of cards is this the right turn for that but cthunes just not even gonna tidy up nearly enough stuff a and R, I don't really need to heal. I could use her to draw a bunch, but that feels weird. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. Like, how am I losing? I thought we had stabilized, and the opponent just said, no, man, I'm gonna keep making endless waves of awesome stuff. Screw you. So he's with nine man. I don't know what I'm getting that I'm excited about. Like, the Heart of Cthune that deals three is pretty good, I guess. Cthune's Chosen, Dark Arakoa. Oh, these are... I just have bad cards, I think. I think the problem is my cards are bad. <laughs> It's not a good problem to have. <laughs> you know? I don't know if loop works and I'm scared I'm dying soon, so I'm just gonna play these out together. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. An 11 12 is still pretty big. King's Defender. Okay. Opponent's gonna die to fatigue at some point if I can stabilize enough. Like, take a big ANR heal turn. I just don't wanna have to heal into a turn where, like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm kinda dead on board anyway. Gotta be careful with that. <sighs> All right, trade in your weapon. Yeah, I like that they're taking 11. That makes my Cthune like a little more lethal, though probably not really. I'm really gonna be clearing mostly boards with Cthune. I think Dark Arakoa into the Cthune this turn's pretty decent. Just makes him quite big, 18, 18. Pretty good chance to tidy up most of the board and then, you know, probably be left with a pretty impressive set of stuff. Um yeah let's let's try that that's 14. remember this no longer gives you an active mana crystal in the old days you could hero power first but it doesn't work anymore this needs to die and this needs to die in particular if i can I mean, it's unlikely we get the um yeah i say it's unlikely we actually get the uh, the rokara but that's okay actually 18 18 so big that you suspect they don't usually clear this in which case we can use Arakoa to buff it even more and just start hitting face probably um actually we could also just use a and r to did she copy the board oh no no that's freya oh but we could do that we could grab cold tooth into freya and copy the board it's actually guaranteed yeah that's so insane actually oh my god this is actually such a ridiculous turn <laughs> Yes. Oh, it makes the signature Cthune because she's signature. That's cool. Okay. They better top deck a brawl, man. They don't have brawl, do they? In wild, there's no way. Zero chance. I said that and then I realized, wait, can that actually happen? Wait. Oh, no. No, I can't. Okay. Nice. We got two Cthunes out of this game. That's pretty fun, man. Sweet. 
Oh, got, got, oh, whoa, what was that animation? I missed it. I clicked through it too fast. Oh, no. Dude, that's so cool. When a player ends their turn with unspent mana, they draw a card. Okay, that's pretty good for us. We're ramping a lot. We want a lot of cards. That's really nice. Yeah, it's a good ramp hand, too. We'll take it. Rin fruit in case we get aggroed out. I think I, I like a lot when we have a ton of mana. Hey, Ushmas, dude, thanks for the eight months. Hey, Regis, here's some of Bezos's money for Regina. Thank you, man. Yes, that's nice. Cthulhu number one, Cthulhu number two. Now we just need to see Cthulhu number three. I can't wait to watch the edit and actually get to hear Cthulhu talking. I haven't heard it yet. This kind of looks like it belongs to him almost. It's an extra little tentacly bit. It would be cool if you could kind of click these and they would interact, but you know, maybe we're asking too much. Perhaps asking too much. Yeah, Invigorate's awesome. Uh, Seedsman's awesome. Ericoa after that could be cool maybe. Let's get things moving. Rejuvenate. Oh, this is kind of lazy token art, man. Actually just a recolor. We don't usually see that for the choose one stuff. That's kind of sad. Oh, it's super lazy. It's not even token art. Oh man, Caverns of Time not clutching it with the token art, man. It's just a zoom on the base art and recolored. Oh dude, that's sad. Usually we get dedicated choose one token art for new cards. That sucks. Yeah, the Cthulhu attack animation is cool, dude. I like it, the laser beam. Um, Neophyte, we're actually cool. We're planning to Arakoa, I think. It's funny, they're going really hard on this Neophyte, but I'm not even... I just want to play a minion. Dude, what? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I get it. It's not just about the Neophyte. I was going to say, I don't know if this is worth it, man. I still don't know if it's worth it, though. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, I don't think. But they went really hard just to make a couple three threes. Like, a lot of resources burned. In other words, I, I think I'm okay with that exchange, all things considered. I'm I'm chill. I don't mind that too much. I mean, if we hadn't had a minion to play, like, sure, maybe it would have been frustrating. Oh, it's coming together. Okay. Never mind. I see it now. Now I believe it's worth it. It wasn't about that turn. It was about this turn all along. Okay. That makes it feel better for sure. Eye of Cthune? Do you guys believe? I mean, there's eight damage. If it only hit minions, I could hero power one. But can I hit the breakdancer in particular? Do you guys trust? Would I rather just Spreading Plague and set up for later? <sighs> Is Spreading Plague going to get better or worse? By I, I can grab a &R, but it's not playable next turn. I'm only at nine with coin next turn. Maybe we just Spreading Plague here. You guys say I absolutely don't trust. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Oh, I forgot we're drawing a card too. That is actually going to help the opponent probably uh, reload their hand when they would otherwise have dumped so many resources. It's probably another good, good reason for them to make the play they made. This anomaly is supporting their game plan pretty well. Ugh. Forgot there's more of these. Oh my god, there's even more of these. Oh god. Oh no. That's not good. I really, I really can't. I'm just not good at killing those at all. Just not in the slightest. Now this hits Freya or Cthune. Oh boy. Freya doesn't have any sort of useful board clear. I mean, her refresh it can definitely be somewhat useful, I suppose, but. I feel like I'm about to get domed here, you know? Do you hear it? Oh. I'm definitely taking at least eight. Well, no, I'm definitely taking at least 16. Maybe 24. Uh, prep? Door. Yog. Oh, goodness. You just take mind control on the 1 4, I guess? Oh, no. Oh, that makes sense, too. Just tendril up for value. I like that. You probably. Oh! Oh, okay. Maybe looking for something specific now? Shadow step on Yog. Uh, okay. Oh, break dance. Sure. That helps you clear, too. That helps you push damage. Yeah. I mean, I might have to use ANR to heal here, but is it ever enough to win? A really good turn either way taking 27 take your passage again that one doesn't really do anything oh never mind just kidding they got a shadow step it's it's actually insane i take it back actually great uh, what am i saying i keep second guessing and then they just do something cooler and cooler every time they don't trade at all does that help me any i don't think it matters i just don't have any board clears in the stack like i have to rely on spreading plague um
I guess I have uh, Heart of Cthulhu, which does a little work here, but not a ton. And I have to draw it, obviously. Dude, I'm not gonna get to play. It's animation's a hundred years long. <sighs> like A and R heals, but that doesn't win. Um, same with our thingy me bob dude. Thingy me bob dude. Branchy paths also heals, doesn't win. Cold tooth hits Freya or Cthulhu, which doesn't win. This could draw into a spreading plague, which might win, I guess. So I think that might only out, right? I gotta draw a spreading plague. Uh A and R draws, but I wouldn't be able to. Branch Paths again doesn't help. It's gotta be Spreading Plague, I think, specifically. Yeah, I don't think Ferocious Howl is even remotely, even in the same universe as enough. Yeah. Well <laughs> <laughs> um, wouldn't it be kind of cool if they made hero cards that were this awesome? I mean... I get it, they, they wouldn't because they want to be able to sell these, right? But imagine a world where Hearthstone was so profitable and so awesome and had so much crazy support that like you could transform into hero cards that looked this cool. Like if we got old gods hero cards and you just became the old god. Oh my god, dude. It would be so sick if you like became like a raid boss and like your hero card like, you know, it deleted your cards or something and you like got like it sure draw an old god card and you're just like a totally different thing I'm sure it would be gross cards. but man I'm out of cards. so cool okay dude maybe he'll fatigue himself i don't know he's having a, he's having a lot of fun we'll let him enjoy it maybe he'll accidentally wipe his board with uh tendrils oh what just happened keeper strength what well played. did they did they did they already attack with this one and then miss lethal i kind of missed it I kind of missed it. I didn't really see. <laughs> I, I mean, did they, was this still able to attack? Yeah, I burned my Cthulhu, but who cares? They're gonna die to fatigue. I don't need a Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, that's actually good. Oh, never mind. that's not good. They got a bunch of three threes. That's actually bad. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. If ANR lives though, like surely we're gonna own, right? Oh, they got Yogg again though. Well, that's more tendrils. The 10 mana tendrils in wild, I have no idea what they're like. Oh, oh, mind control. Oh no, I forgot about mind control. Oh God. What do they get? They they can refresh their mana, but that doesn't really do anything. And the five fives are useful, I guess. Uh, oh, they tried to draw and it didn't do anything, yeah. Uh, is this lethal? 20 or 10, 15? No, not quite. Freya makes a copy of this, but that's no good. I weirdly don't, I, like I'm still in a little bit of a pickle here. These actually can't attack, so are they as annoying? Oh, they're just leaving. Oh my God, dude, I didn't have it though. I actually technically didn't have it. He's trolling? Well, it don't, it don't really matter if he's trolling if, the, if he's out of ways to survive. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you mean he's trolling don't get excited <laughs> Why? he's out of ways to do anything you can't you can't troll when you're suddenly powerless <laughs> we can still win all right this is my last game for real i gotta go i gotta go discover a new basic hero power um okay that's fine for us i'd love warriors actually would be cool we'll definitely keep guff ferocious howl eh. I think I look for ramp, right? First is how maybe better later. <clears throat> I don't, have we played a single one of our Cthune cards? I know we're a Renathal deck, so it's not especially likely, but I don't even think I've seen one of the, no, well, we had the five mana one last time, I guess, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay, Demon Claws is some. <gasps> oh yeah, we could use our laser. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. No ramp beyond Guff right now. Uh, let's see what the opponent picks here and if they play a quest or not, maybe a couple things could tell us what they're about He had lethal but played tendrils for the lulls. I, I know and then he didn't have lethal because he was playing for the lulls Which gave us a chance to win which is really fun. I don't know what you under I don't know what you don't understand it, it, There was a punish for his BM and that's an exciting moment to explore 
If you don't understand that, you're probably just in the wrong place. It's probably go. Let's just go ahead and and uh, let's just save our troubles and times here. And maybe you should move on. Like I, I'm sure you must understand why that's fun. And if not, then you're a lost cause to us. I'm so sorry. It's time to go. Uh, you hate the divine shield into the one one, but I, I think mana flexibility is more important to take advantage of here. Shame that wasn't an O2 totem. <sighs> ETC? Okay, that's a good trade for us. Guff on five, we take it, right? We don't need this hero power, it's fine. We love Guff, man. Isox getting getting there, it's gonna be big. Guff into ANR is nice. <clears throat> opponent is definitely more of a control deck too, so like, hopefully we don't die to like Odin stuff. Oh. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> that feels a little rude. Not sure I was a fan of that so much. Uh, ramp here, we go back to four. I mean, it's not bad, but do I need this for card draw? I guess we always have a little card draw for hero power. Let's just ramp for now while we've got good ramp. We want to we wanna get to 20 ASAP. It makes actually this insane, 20 damage. I don't know if that's any good, but maybe in combination with a Cthulhu, like one, two punch over a couple turns or something. Could be cool. Cornered Sentry into nothing. Okay. Man, I missed Cornered Sentry Ranker. That was always a cool. I like that. T Tempo Brand. Is this a bot? What? That doesn't seem correct. Weirdly, it's actually a little hard for me to kill. <laughs> it's honestly not that trivial to kill. I, I, I really don't want to have to, like, forbidden fruit to kill it. Uh, but I'm, I might, yeah. That kind of sucks. I think as a brand though, we need to respect it. I can't just leave a brand floating. Pretty important. They might have thought it was safe tucked away there. I don't know what their play is for it on turn seven though. Oh, I guess coin Odin maybe was their thought. Like if I could hit a coin Odin, does Odin stack on that? <laughs> oh, no Cthulhu thankfully, but ANR would be a sad card to lose. <sighs> maybe not like into the world disastrous, but not my favorite either. Isoc also sucks. Maybe they'll get offered exactly Arakoa, Plague, and Evil. Beckoner. The eye follows? Did it really? That's cool. The eye like follows your plays? That's sick if so. Uh, what did they take? Oh, the eye stock. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if I was going to have to pick Isoc or ANR, I'd probably pick eye stock. Although still a little sad about it. Just hit Nourish. Yeah. Nourish ramp or Nourish draw? Nourish draw, I think. Twin Imps is good, Zola's good. Zola Cthulhu in particular seems pretty spicy. That's a lot of damage output potentially. Freya is another way for us to potentially copy Cthulhu as well if our hand is empty enough or he's far enough to the left. <laughs> Dude, this has got to be a bot, right? I mean, this doesn't really feel like it in some ways, but they just... <laughs> I mean, I know they probably don't have anything else to use that for, but for some reason that just felt hilariously... <laughs> like it just... <laughs> I don't even I don't even know man I don't know dude I don't know that's just really funny for some reason to me uh okay I'm actually not gonna go too 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 big on board yet uh just play around brawl a little bit spread some of these threats out a little bit you know like I don't want to get everything removed all at once in one fell swoop so <sighs> trade into Odin okay I'm all right with the timing on this, I guess. I have a board here, so I get to hit them pretty hard. Oh, there's that Freya we were talking about. I don't have any way to turn this into, like, lethal pressure or anything. Like, branching paths is pretty good damage. Disciple can do a bit. ANR draws cards, but doesn't do damage. Let's start here. Yeah, sadly, that's pretty weak. I mean, we don't think we're, like, dead, right? There's definitely a part of me that wants to go all face here, but I also just don't want to have too many threats out into like a brawl. Cause I honestly, at the moment, don't really have much to develop. I need to draw more. I even drew off that nourish, right? Like I feel like I've been drawing a, a fair bit. Maybe I should have drawn off hero power. ANR can fill the hands. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not like we're out without draw. I, I may just take the ANR here in a second and draw. I don't know if the refresh is really worth all that much for her. Cause if we're going to be refreshing mana, we want it to be like lethals anyway. And, she doesn't really technically contribute any extra lethal or anything. 
Yeah, shield chatter. Okay, so that's what we were trying to dodge a little bit, right? So now we can go like Vecklor and develop. Maybe maybe even Vecklor and Freya, although I do definitely want Freya to hit Cthulhu. Probably just go ANR here, just draw a bunch. Maybe maybe even put the Vecklors in since we saw some board clear hit. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. Let me get one extra card that way. Well, that's not necessarily true. If I played them second, it doesn't really matter because you... We're gonna burn a card if I don't go Forbidden Fruit here. And I don't have Cthulhu. I think I actually have to, yeah. <laughs> Twice as much as zero, man. How much is that, guys? <laughs> yeah, this is good. So if we could get if we could get Freya, like it's gonna be pretty hard to get down to a Cthulhu just because he's you know, he's so like, where is he? I don't have him. I need him. Okay, opponent's clearing that. That's fine. She didn't really offer too much upside for us. I mean, oh! Oh, I did not expect to see that. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's scary. I'm also just kind of dying, which is sort of scary. Where is Cthulhu, by the way, man? I'm just going to throw away the Spreading Plague, basically. Uh... Do I need to be worried about fatigue is another question. Dude, where is Cthulhu, bro? Where, where is he? I need him. Can they shield slam this guy? If so, that's pretty insane. I mean, shield slam plus hero power would do it, but they just lost uh, hero power. But this gives them armor maybe for shield slam. Does shield slam make the cut in wild? I don't know. I, I would imagine it certainly could. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're still alive. This is a pretty good spreading plague, actually, this turn, I think. I have any nature spells left? This is not nature. Uh, that is, okay, so that does draw a card technically. Oh my god. I'm trying to just get down to the point where, well, number one, I'm alive. And I, I want to get down to where I can copy brands and Cthulhu's and stuff in case I need it. Oh, I have Capture Cold Tooth. What am I talking about? I can just grab it now. And I need to. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so now I can copy Branzola Cthulhu. I need to be alive, though. I'm at 38. I mean, at this stage, what what is this? 16? I can't quite go Zola, uh, Bran, and Cthulhu all at once. Is this... Uh, well, next year what I can do is I can go Freya, Cthulhu, Zola, and set up for the Cthulhu, Bran... Oh no. Oh! Dodged! Oh my god! Absolutely dodged! Oh my god, dodged a bullet. That actually just kind of made my hand even better, to be honest. Is is Bran Cthulhu just lethal now, though, is another question, especially with branching paths. It's probably just lethal now, right? Because this is uh, 54 plus uh, 8 is 62, 63 plus. Um, 10 is 73 that's just got to be lethal now it's it's obviously way more fun to copy it and stuff but this just has to be lethal there is no way this isn't there the three five taunt dies it's even easier math yep okay. i mean it might it's almost lethal without well i don't think we need the branching paths right it looks like it's fine anyway yeah cool dude would have been really fun if they had more life and we got to dude i missed the animation again shoot <laughs> 